Hey guys, welcome back to some Dragon Quest. We're still in Arborea, and we still need to explore uh, a little bit more of the town. But I, yeah, everyone seems so friendly here. Which you would think so, because, you know, they did send Veronica and Serena out to protect me and all that, but it's just nice to actually see it in person and... Ah, oh, it's just a really nice place. So let's continue before we set off to the altar in the first forest. Or whatever it is. We've, uh, ooh, I see a chest. And we'll talk to you people later. Let me just grab this goodie. Saint Ashes. Okay, anything over here? Nope, just a nice little waterfall. Hello, sir. Ho ho ho! You are not uh, feeling under the weather, I trust. You must take gr uh, take care of yourself, my boy. There can be no greater pleasure in life than to tend to one's own health. Yeah, indeed. You seem to be in fine fettle. <laughs> I should, uh, if you should ever plan to pop to the first forest, pray speak with me before you go. I might know a way to make that fettle of yours finer. Well, I just did speak to you before I went. You know, are you just saying the same thing? Ah, okay. Oh, dearie. Uh, before Veronica and Serena were born, I was uh, it was prophesied that Alma's child would be the reincarnation of the Holy Sage. Imagine our surprise when she gave birth to twins. Oh! Seems they still, uh, they still inherited uh, Serenica's so Oh, Serenica, that's a nice name. And I see what they did there, Veronica and Serena. Serenica. Uh, Father Benedictus knew this as soon as he saw them. That is why he sent them to search for the Luminary. Oh, isn't that, isn't that just the best story ever? I like that. Right, have we been in... I think I went in all the houses. Actually, did I go in the inn? I don't know if I went in the inn or not. And why did I go down the stairs? I could have just... <laughs> My bad. What's up here? I get distracted so easily. What a view! Oh, what a view! My wife and I have been happily married for many years. Alas, Yggdrasil did not bless us with a child. Ah, I'd almost given up hope that I would ever be a father. But at long last, the world tree has answered my prayers and delivered unto us a beautiful baby boy. I'm so very happy. I hope nothing happens to this kid. Aw, isn't that, isn't that just great? Oh, it's so happy here. Oh, you just know it ain't gonna last. Hmm, anyway, what? <laughs> this dude seems... Oh, they're excited. The day has finally come. The luminary stands on the threshold of my humble inn. If you and your friends are here to stay the night, this establishment would surely go down in legend. Yeah, you're still going to charge me, though, aren't you? I'm still going to have to pay. How much is it? Yeah, it's a business. 140 gold coins. It's nothing, really, is it? But still... I'm the goddamn luminary. Why do I have to pay? Right. Did I mustn't have been in here because there's a cabinet and I don't think I searched it. Nope, magic water. Oh, I love this music. I actually had to, uh, well, last night before, well, after I finished the last video, I had to just quickly re-listen to some of Dragon Quest VIII's music, and I, I did listen to this piece, and oh man, it's amazing what orchestral, you know, instrumentation does, sound quality. I mean, this is still good, but it's it's just not quite the same. I shall stop bitching about that now. Right, so, we went in there, didn't we? We have been in here, haven't we? Oh, yep, yep, that's where the little kid was doing his, uh, homework. Right, we have a story dude over there. Let's quickly check this building. Uh, blessed with a most wondrous gift. When events of great importance are afoot, the World Tree will grant him a premonition. The visions come to him in his sleep. 
Indeed, only a few nights before your birth, the Holy Father woke the entire village to announce that the Luminary was to be born anew. And he has asked me to tell you that you are welcome to come and go freely from this, uh, from his home. Oh, this is where he lives, is it? Nice. Right, let's go loot the place. Uh, you do not look much like a legendary hero to me. Do, do I really not in this armor? You tell me that doesn't look like a legendary hero to you, woman. In fact, you look more like a heroine. What? You can't even see my hair right now. <laughs> She's jealous of our hair. Well, tough titties, I'm afraid. Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 5. Ah, oh, more pseudonym. Yes. Ah, so yeah, he found the man collapsed on his way to Sniffelheim. Oh, it's the son of the village's high priest. Lad's father was overjoyed to see him alive and well, and as a reward, he offered uh, myself and the desert doctor a choice between two great treasures. I could scarce believe my eyes when I saw the first, a beautiful branch that glowed. Aha! That's what he's after though, isn't it? Uh, the other treasure was a small stone that glowed with a curious blue light. Oh. I'm sure I needn't tell you that I reached for the rain bow in an instant, but at that last moment something stayed my hand. Uh, I thought back over all I'd experienced on my travels and I'd realised... I realised that it wasn't the rain bow I'd been searching for all this time, it was the joy of the journey itself! So I took the little blue stone and popped it safely in the pockets of my old worn coat. The doctor naturally took the rain bow. And so that was my quest! And so it was, sorry, that my quest came to an end, but it was by no means the end of my adventures. Perhaps in the course of my continuing travels, we might meet dear Rita. Dear, dear Rita. <laughs> uh, Rita in quotation marks. Just in case we do, uh, let me tell you my name. I'm Chalky, the world's greatest adventurer. No way! Like, dude, are you, are you freaking serious, man? Oh my, that's kind of cool. That's pretty freaking cool. It was our old grand, well, adopted granddad. That's that's freaking awesome. I would like to say that I had my suspicions, but I really wasn't wondering who he was too much. I was just along for the ride. And another. Ooh, in fact, have we had an elf in elixir yet? Who would it have given it to? Jade restores all MP. Holy crap. That's pretty mental, that. Nice. Okay, well, that seems to be Arborea pretty much gone over. Uh, apart from the top building, of course. But yeah, it seems like there's quite a few ways we could go. The, gro the Grove of Repose, the mountain top, and, and obviously the first forest, which is where we actually need to go. But I... I kind of want to go exploring. I want to go see what this Grave of Repose is. So bear with me, chaps. I do apologise. We will we will get to the story eventually. Oh, I bet you this chap's going to stop us. Uh, leads to a small copse. Uh, there is little there save an abiding aura of serenity. But this is no bad thing. When we were children, Veronica, Serena, and I would often go there to play. Ah, such happy memories. I bet you're pretty surprised to see Veronica in her current state. Then again, I suppose everyone is. Oh, hang on, what's here? Dude, there's nothing here? Dude! You kidding me? There should totally be something there. Oh, music change. What we got? What we got? Just the silent sound of the wind, which is in itself not very silent, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to hear it. Who's this? I'm rather poorly. The doctor said he doesn't know how to make me better, but I think I might know a way. My grandfather once told me of a magical flower called a wishteria. <laughs> he said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. If you're ever planning a trip to the first forest, could you let me know? I'm, uh, you might be my only hope. Oh, maybe she'll be a quest later on. Maybe. This is very... Yeah, 
they weren't kidding when they said serene. The question is, is there actually anything here other than that little girl? It would appear not. I'm sure something's going to happen here soon, though. Right, anyway, we've had a look. Satisfied my curiosity for now. <sighs> okay. I'm just glad that that freaking migraine I had yesterday has gone away. It took forever to shake it. It's been a while since I've had one. Right. Let's actually go and progress the story a little bit. Splendid, you have all six orbs in your possession. I do. Well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? I think so. doesn't look too great, doesn't it? Look, the world tree, like, lifting up and fire everywhere and death. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness, a being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Uh -huh. Veronica. Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <sighs> <laughs> As for Mordecai, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of Luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Okay. <sighs> so we're going in a cave. Or a tunnel that leads to the first forest. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, a quest has just popped up. So I'm going to go quickly check that out in a minute. Look at these pictures, though. Almighty Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, was laid uh, was laid low by the Dark One. That sucks. This dude looks pretty epic, though. Erdwin and his faithful companions ventured forth to face the Dark One in mortal mortal combat. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Um, you know what, guys? Soul Calibur 6 is out today. I've been looking forward to that for a while. I can't wait to play that after this. Haha! <laughs> uh, Mage reads the inscription. After triumphing over the Dark One and restoring peace to Erdrea, the Luminary ascended to the heavens to watch over us forevermore. Yay, happy endings are happy. What about this one? Oh, was this when he was born? Yep. The birth of Erdwin, Luminary of Legend, marked the beginning of the Age of Heroes. I like this room. 
pretty, pretty funky. Right, let's go quest hunting. In fact, let me check my catalogue. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Yep, the little girl can now be talked to in regards to her quest, so we shall go do this. What does this chat mean? Ah, it's the... Oh, of course, right. So... The path to true fitness is an arduous one indeed. One must sacrifice one's heart and soul upon the altar of wellness. Wow. I've devoted my entire life to the pursuit of uh, true... Salubri... Salubrity? Sa what a I've never seen that word before. I swear, I am learning so many words from this game, even though I don't actually know what that means. I can kind of work it out from context, but... Um, years of painstaking research, I've finally found the secret. I call it Super Soup. <laughs> or at least I will when it is completed at last. Young man, will you lend me your aid in concocting this miraculous broth? I sure will, buddy, because I'll get a butterfly baton for my trouble. I'm sure that's going to be pretty good. Oh ho ho, I knew that you would say yes. Now, what I need you to do is to head deep into the first forest and bring me back a single leaf of the most vital ingredient of all, red kale. First forest is a sacred place into which none may set foot without the high priest's permission. But you are the luminary. How could we possibly, how could he possibly refuse, well no he's not going to is he? Remember my boy, a single leaf of red kale. May the spirits of that word go with you my fellow fitness fanatic. Well, I would assume we're pretty fit already. We've done a lot, a lot of walking in this quest so far. Right, to the little girl. Uh, it seems like both of those guys are going to need something from the first forest, so... Since we're going to be going through there anyway, we might as well help them. My phone is going off the frickin' hook, it seems. Anyway, right. Just uh, a couple of my friends talking about getting tickets to see Hans Zimmer next year, which uh, I've seen him before and he was amazing. I really do want to go see, again, see him again. Uh, right, the doctor said that he doesn't know. My grandfather once taught me about magical flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, track down a rare monster called a white bulb. A white bulb. Oh, this, this, honestly, guys, you don't know how much joy this game brings me just through its use of puns. You and your friends look very strong. Could you defeat one for me and bring me back some wish to <laughs> uh, It might be my only hope. And we'll get uh, an accessory called the healer. Oh, thank you. Uh, if you can just get, uh, if I can just get my hands on some of those seeds, I'll be able to wish for them to make me well again when the flowers finally bloom. The white bulbs that carry them live in the first forest, but they only appear very rarely. Try fighting their friends, the spirit, uh, the sprite bulbs. Fight a sprite and a white might bite. Oh my god. I love it. It won't be easy to find, but I'm counting on you. After all, you're my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Right then. Well, if this is going to be quite tricky to, to find... You've come to the right man, because I am just a quest-fulfilling machine. I will transgress this request with finesse, or whatever it is the saying goes. Yep, right, we, we have our tasks. That is the last... Uh, those are the last two quests so far. Apparently more do unlock, but uh, I'm guessing they unlock after we do the Yggdrasil thing. So, here we go. And it looks like... That's odd. So how would we get to the mountaintop? Maybe there's a secret door? Anyway, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Ooh. I wonder what the first forest looks like. The Arborean Highlands. 
Oh, so we're not technically in the first forest yet. I see. Right. No problem. Got a campsite on the way. Oh, and we do have some new enemies. What the hell are those things? Oh my god. I don't even know how to describe them. What the hell are they? Blood blood bonnet and goo and goobons. <laughs> goobons. <laughs> wow. Alright, oh I didn't actually heal it. I could have rested at the end. I should have done really. Oh well. Right, Jade. Do a party pooper. Holy crap, that was a nice crit. Holy shit. Right, do a Zamel. In fact, we'll try a Crackle. That'll hit both of them, won't it? Ah, rubbish. Rubbish. Okay, Helichopter it is. Just the job. Who else wants some? <laughs> that is good XP. We got a snake skin. Ah. Oh my god. It's a dragon. Freaking cool. Come down here, you. I have a bone to pick with you. An ethereal serpent. Oh, he looks he looks so cool. Let's try and poison him. Yeah, no. Ooh, 61. Oh, come on, Jade, you're starting to miss with that. It's annoying. Two hundred and fifty-one, actually. Oh, yeah, of course, I don't have Dragon Slash anymore. I'm not using one-handed swords. Durr. Right, well, I actually want to heal Jade. I'm a little bit worried. We've got to look after our Jade. Yes, we do. Holy shit. This guy ain't messing around. Ooh, got a dragon horn. Four. Right, heal. There we go. Ooh, hang on. There's a path this way. Ghost penguin! And another geodude. Sorry, a grenade. Is there... He must be guarding something behind him. Oh yeah, he totally is. Oh, I can't actually attack him. Ah, oh, god damn it, I wanted to like, wake him up with my sword. It's okay though, we can deal with these guys. Cobra strike. <laughs> oh, you're in for a world of pain soon, buddy. Ha, <laughs> nobody showed up. You don't have any friends. Party pooper Jade, please. I love how they break up. Eric, you know what to do, buddy. Victimizer. Oh boy, that's so good. Another day, another victory. Right, what have we got in here? Another mini medal. Dude, do we only need like. How many do we need? We've been finding so many. Three more. Three more, guys. Ooh, I can't wait. 
I might just ignore you, sir. And we are at the capsite. Righty ho. I don't think there's actually anything I need to do right now. I don't have many pearls yet. I haven't been and bought any. Uh, which I could go buy some, I suppose. But for now, I don't think we're struggling particularly, so... Um, is the merchant here? No, he's not. Alright, well, okay, let's leave. Actually, I want to want to explore it uh, in daytime, so let's... Let's actually rest. We kind of do need it. So let's rest until dawn. Bum, bum, bum. Right, okay. What have we got here? Which way do we want to go? Is it dead end this way? In fact, did I see another... Oh no, that's not a ghost penguin, it's just some ore. And a broken bridge, with a chest at the end. Silver, platinum, and more platinum! It's weird, like, gold ore seems to be so rare now. I don't know why, because we... I'm sure we were, we were going through a stage where it was so common. You'd think Platinum Ore would be a lot rarer, but I suppose at this point in the game and in these areas... It kind of makes sense. Oh, I want to fight another dragon, actually. But another ghost penguin is here! What is he... ...hinting at, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, are there any targets in this region? Oh! No, I'm gonna fight you, buddy. Here he comes, here he comes! Yes! And one little friend for him as well. How lovely. 69! Right, Jade, get rid of that little shit for me, will you? Thank you! Seven, baby. Let the darkness consume you. Right, how close are we to leveling? Ooh, quite close for Jade and Eric and Sylve. Let's go grab this chest. Magic circle? Is that a shield? Or is it an accessory? Is it an accessory? No. Nope. Must be a shield then. Bum 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 bum. Where is it? Uh, there it is, magic circle. Oh, a throwing ring encrusted with uh, enchanted gemstones that generate magical power. So... It's a freaking boomerang. That's... that's cool. That's a cool looking boomerang. Can you really call it a boomerang though? At that point? It's not really shaped at all like a boomerang. Anyway... To the first forest. Layout. A very long bridge. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's cool. 
Drasil is mighty big. That is some mighty big wood. Oh, what critters? Oh, we've got some more sort of uh, pallet swaps from the needlers. Some very nice yellow and green colours. Pine needlers. Holy shit! Jade! Those crits are lethal! Absolutely destroyed them! Right, let's look up this way first. Ah. Climbed a rope in a while. Ghost penguin sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Oh, and a coral dude. He's guarding a plant, so let's murder him. Mustardon. Critical ch hit chances increased even more. Are you serious? Because that is ridiculous. Let's do. Uh, I don't know. Let's do a hip drop. Not seen that in a while. Gives everyone one heck of a shot in the arm, but his HP will hit one when the effect wears off. Yeah, that's the new pet power we unlocked. I'm not sure if I want to use that just yet. Not against this guy, anyway. Zamel! I might actually swap Rab out for a little bit and get uh, Serena back in, maybe? Or, uh... We've not seen Sylve in ages. I feel bad for not using party members. But this is definitely, I think, my strongest team. Uh, let's just hit him with a floating edge. Alright, what have we got here? More silk blossom. The usual stuff. Solitary chest that contains another urn of saints' ashes. We've got quite a few of those now. Okay. Some interesting. Uh, Flora around here. Oh, leave me be. Oh, another Jowler type dude. Just chilling in the river. Oh, it is just a Jowler. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Spellbound Bow! Yes! We need some of those for those magic equipment. Could do with a few more. Okay. All enemies we've seen before, so there's no need to bother with them. Looks like there's a way 
Uh, which way do I want to go? Might as well check out this first. Oh my lordy lordy. Look at all the statues and bats. Well, we've not fought those things, so... Ooh, that, there must be something damn good in that chest. For all this... <laughs> for all this defense. Okay, let's go for it. One of each. Fruity succubat. Oh, come on, Jade, stop missing. We are all pets. Holy crap. Uh, do I want to use any pet powers? Hallelujah. Your big chance to bag buckets of gold coins, oodles of experience, and all kinds of incredible items. Ah. Requires all three party members to be pets up. Jade, Eric, and Mage. I wonder if that's... I mean, imagine using that against metal slimes and then beating a ton of them. How much XP you'd probably get? Christ. Uh, the real decoy. Hmm. Well, none of us are going to lose pep just yet, so fuck it. Hmm. Didn't think I'd be able to poison a statue. In fact, let's try whacking it. Oh, of course, he's not affected. Durr. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Oh no! 68. Oh, it's not quite the same, is it? Uh, right, okay. Well, that one's nearly dead. 69 from Jade. Oh yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> it's very mature. Very mature. And Sylve's level 34. Five skill points. Not too shabby. Flintstone. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Why did I even try running? Just stand your ground next time, mage. Right, do we want to use the pet power? Not just yet. Oh, come on, Jade. What are you doing? What are you playing at? You're not gonna like this. Oh, we missed. Are you serious? Mage is going to lose his pep soon. Okay. Oh, they know Zam. Zam, bam, thank you, Gran. Oh, in fact, flying enemy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Harvest Moon. Things are looking up. Hell yeah. Another five skill points. Alright, let's grab this chest. Screw you guys. And recipe book. How to outdo the undead. Zombie slate? Oh, is that it? That wasn't that great. I could have bought a zombie slayer, couldn't I? I think so. Oh, this is a hidden nice little area. An ethereal stone. Right. So it's a shiny down there. Magic water. I wonder if this is where all magic water comes from. Hmm? What do you reckon? Oh boy. Oh boy, would you look at that. Not sure I'd enjoy doing this. Not sure I'd be able to do this. Because holy crap! 
It's a long way down. Anyway, no sign of those uh, white bulbs or even sprite bulbs yet. I wonder if they only come out at night. And again, wouldn't she have said that? Maybe? Or you guys. Leave me be. Again, no time for your shit. Savvy Sapphire. Uh, oh god, oh, they cornered me. We win again. Used up uh, Mage's pep there, so it's okay. Eric's level 35. Six skill points. Oh, and we've uh, won 500 battles. No trophy, though. Come on, game, what are you playing at? Can't tease me with such an amazing accolade and then not give me a trophy for it. I am much disappointed. Another ghost penguin, eh? What could be nearby? Hmm. Maybe the camp. Well, we'll go to the campfire anyway. Anything around this tree? Dude, I thought there would be. In fact, I haven't even checked sparkly spots, have I? Okay, there's not actually many here. So what as a spellbound bow over over here? Or was that down below? That could have been down below, actually. I can't see any here. Oh, hello, Mr. Chest. I really missed you. A lot of stones. Anyway, we've made it to another campsite. Right, so I'm going to rest up, and uh, I'm going to end the video, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Next time, we will continue to explore the first forest and try and get a hold of these things we need for the two people back in town. Uh, the the sprite, the white bulb thing, and the other thing that I don't actually remember what it is right now, but we will find them, hopefully. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.